News at 11, the Pentagon now tracking a second Chinese spy balloon currently soaring over South America. This latest high-flying twist adding to the diplomatic dispute between the U.S. and China and also fueling the political debate over what action the United States should take. Next. That second surveillance balloon over Latin America is still unclear, but Fair the Pentagon says it does purposes. not appear to be heading toward the U.S. As for the one that is drifting over our country, the Pentagon says it does not pose a military risk. Nonetheless, the foreign object from a foreign country has many feeling uneasy. Is China studying the weather or studying the states? The Pentagon today making their answer clear. We know that it's a surveillance balloon. It's a rejection of China's claim that it's not a spy vessel, but a civilian airship used for weather research. We do know that the balloon has violated U.S. airspace and international law, uh, which is unacceptable. And so we've conveyed this directly to the PRC at multiple levels. A Chinese foreign ministry spokesperson saying today it accidentally entered U.S. airspace. It first flew over Alaska, then southwest Canada, and into Billings, Montana, where it was spotted Wednesday. Questions about the balloon quickly making their rounds on social media. This thing is up in the sky. What the heck is that? Yes. That thing is not the moon. And off the ground, confused pilots getting a look as well. Take a listen to just some of the calls coming into air traffic control. We got that balloon in sight also. Looks like it's way up there. Maybe 50,000 feet or so. Okay, we in sight also. Looks like it's way up there. Maybe... 50,000 feet or so. Okay, we've seen that object around a minute ago. Uh, the captain, myself, I saw it dive like 20,000 feet in seconds. U.S. officials believe it has a technology bay the size of three city buses, high-resolution cameras, and what appear to be solar-powered panels. Chinese satellites believe to be maneuvering the balloon as it drifts east across the country.